All right, guys, we're gonna try a new project today. Uh, with the venture that I'm, or at least the consideration, I'm thinking of doing this full time. You know, I'm looking at different product lines, I guess you can call them product lines. Different things that I can make. Uh, what things can I make and sell quickly? What things can I make the most money on? That kind of stuff. And one of the things I'm leaning towards is some, you know, rid of these glasses. Some of the uh, the industrial kind of things. Um, I won't go any farther than that. So what I what I want to do is I, I uh, picked up some one inch cable at the uh, scrapyard. Now I can say that. And I'm thinking of turning this into a door pole. So I'm going to see what I can do. I've never worked with cable before. I'm sure a lot of you guys are saying, no, do a knife, do a knife. Um, let's start with this. So I'm thinking a very industrial door pull. I think that would be really, really cool if it turns out. Uh, the plan is is to weld, and I'm not sure if I'm going to forge weld or what I'm going to do. Weld these ends tight, heat this up, twist it, twist it tight so that it uh, has some good integrity. Bend two 90s on here and, and, and affix it to a plate that uh, somebody can mount on a door for a uh, for a business or just for somebody that wants an industrial so, look. So, don't really have a whole lot of plan. I'm um, just going to go ahead and learn as I go. And if you'd like, you can come along with the journey. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. See if anything turns out. Hopefully, we'll learn something. All right, so what I decided to do, since I'm trying to, to learn this, is I'm going to go ahead and use the welder and just seal these ends up, both ends of that with the welder. Uh, that'll give me a fighting chance if I decide to forge weld more. Um, at least uh, give me a fighting chance of it on fraying. I'll see what kind of structure I get out of that. If it, if it isn't enough, then I'll, then I'll continue with the forge weld. But I'm just going to weld these up. All right, well, I weld like crap, so you can go ahead and enjoy this show for a while. I guess in this particular job, it doesn't matter if you weld crappy or not. It seems to work. All right, with these ends welded now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and heat. I, I don't, I don't think with the forge I can heat the whole. It's like 18 inches long is what I started with. I figured I need 16, so it gives me some room to to fail if um, I need to. I'll uh, try to heat half of it in the forge, red hot, and then twist that nice and tight. I'll probably also. Uh, uh, flux this. You know, I'm not trying to weld it. I, I'm sure if I get it hot enough that flux will help bring some of the crap out from inside the, the coil. So that's the plan. Half of it red hot, flux it, heat it again, and then twist it. I started there a little bit. It ain't gonna hurt to put some flux on it now, I'll tell you. Let that stuff melt in there. In case you're wondering, I'm just using borax. Nothing fancy. Alright, let's give this thing a go. I've never tried doing this before, but I've seen it done. So we're just going to twist it tight. The flux cracking and popping in there, so hopefully it's doing its job. Doing, but I sure am doing it. So if you can see that, all right, that's how tight they are. And if I come up through, you can see where I didn't twist it. So um, that extra two inches that I have, I might have actually lost that during the twist. We'll see. So it looks good. I'm going to flip it around and heat the other end. All right, we'll get geared up for that second twist. Alright, after twisting this thing down, I lost 3 inches, so it was at 18, and we're now at 15 uh, right now, which means I have no more room to play because I wanted an 8 inch handle with a 2 to 2.5 two inch pull on the thing, so we'll have to be a little careful. I think what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and clean this up on the wire brush just to make it look pretty, and then we'll continue on with that weld. Alright, I got our brush up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get some welding heat on this end. Uh, I'm hoping to only mess with about an inch of it. That's the plan anyway. I've never done this before. If it fails, I can always turn it into a knife, right? Alright, as I'm bringing it up to temperature, I'm going to keep flux in this end. Hopefully that stuff will work its way in there where it needs to work. 
I hope anyway. I guess we just have to... Oh, oh, oh. I lost a little bit there. Alright, enough of that. Some more flux. It looks good. But I lost a little off the end. Now I end up with a little shorter door pole than I planned. And we'll go for the second one. Boy, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good to me. We get one more well down there. Right, here we go on the last one. I am certainly a lot narrower than I want to be. I'm going to have to play some game here with this. Pull down. But, uh... Even if the project fails, that's just a successful weld. That worked really well. Not bad at all for a newbie. Alrighty, we'll get the other end started, I guess. Give you a quick peek of the forge at that welding, welding heat. Nice, clean, hot, very hot flame. Here goes our second weld. That's enough for now. Looks good, looks good. We'll flex this up again. Head back in. And here we go. It's good enough for that one. Actually, I think we're done right there, but I'm going to go back in one more time. Just for good old sake. And I saved a lot, of more, a lot more steel on that one. And our last weld. Go ahead and round this one off. I think I'm pretty successful with what I'm doing here. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do next. But I do know I have one solid mass of steel. And that, my friends, and that, my friends, is pretty freaking cool. Welded, forge welding. Well, I'll tell you. Practice, practice, practice. All right, so you see what I got here? I got about an inch to play with here. On this end, I got a little bit more than that. So I'm just, I'm actually going to just heat this up and round it off and then I'm just going to nip that off. It's burnt on the end there anyway. All right, not knowing what I'm doing, what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in. I'm going to give myself two inches of uh, coil before the, uh, the forge weld and I'm just going to bend it at a 90 degrees over the horn. That's the plan or over the uh, anvil. So we'll put this in where I think I want it and make sure I got exactly two inches to the top of the horn or the anvil. Sorry, I keep saying it wrong. Two inches to the right there. I don't want to squeeze it too much. I'm going to wooden handle this one. I'm going to go ahead and bend that around. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is just to help this out, I'm going to go ahead and put a twist on this just to tighten that up. Come on now. I think that'll help. Check myself for 90 and straight. And again, we're winging it at this point, but I think that's okay. I think I'll make that work. We'll see what happens on the next one. I'm actually going to put it in 
90 degrees out of where I want it. Gotta work quickly here. That's good. I'm hoping what I can do is put a twist on it and bend it at the same time. And that way. I can get these suckers to line up a little better. So we're pretty good on 90 there. Good enough. And what I need to do now is actually twist it more, which is in my favor. So that one isn't too bad at all. I kind of like it actually. Now this one, if you take a look at it, comes off to the side a little. So I'm actually going to tweak that a little bit if I can. And get that back where I want it. But I like this. I mean, it's industrial. It's not supposed to be perfect, I guess. Those are the best projects. It's not bad at all. I like it. It's pretty straight. And it's pretty 90 degrees, so I'm good to go there. I think the next thing is to put the backing plate on. Hey, as much as I'd like to save this plate that I just found for something else, I think I'm gonna use it here because it's, I don't know, it's gotta be an eighth inch thick anyway. And that is, I mean, it's just the right kind of industrial look I think I'm going for there. So I am going to figure out how wide and long I want it and uh, we'll get her cut out and we'll see what we want to do from there. Alright, I've decided 4x11 <clears throat> will give me, I think, the look I'm, I'm after. Next question is, do I use any grinder to cut that off or do I use my uh, new plasma cutter? You want to see my new plasma cutter? Okay, I'll use it. Alright, I know you all may consider this cheating. There's my little eBay plasma cutter running off a 110. All right, cheating or not, it's pretty damn cool. First of all, my anvil's way back here, so I'm totally safe. Put that in there. Put this baby on. Very cool. I'll do a review on that baby one day. Alright, there's the plate I'm going to use. There's the handle it's going to go on. It's going to be a really cool thing when I guess it's done. So I'm going to clean all this up now, square it up, and I'll be back. Alright, so I got my plate squared up. Now the next thing to do is figure out what kind of design. I mean, what am I trying to do? Am I going to hammer this plate? Uh, am I just going to hammer the edges and leave this, the center clean? What do I want to do with this? So I need to come up with a decision and, uh, and implement that. Alright, so I decided to go hammer. So I'm going to go ahead and hammer this sucker up. I right, remember the flatter that I made. On the back side I, I made a little rounded edge. I'm going to use that as my rounding texture. That's the plan anyway. We're not going to go crazy with it. But what I want to do is I want to go all the way around the outside like that as a taper. You know what? That might be enough when we get done. Well, it's hot to cross over. Yeah, that's 
hot on my thumb. A lot of heat coming off of that thing. I kind of like that. I might just stop there. Just for a subtle bevel. Of a hammered bevel. I kind of like that a lot actually. I think that's going to look nice once it's shined up. So I'm going to do the other side and I think that's all I'm going to have to do with that part of it. I'm spotting this in a hammer strike. In the middle. I like it. I like it, I like it. Let me get the other side heated. Right. Finish this up around the outside. Sometimes less is more. I noticed I had one sharp corner here. I wanted to get rid of this one. That looks good. I think it's going to look good like that. These aren't random enough over here. I like it. I think that'll work. Make sure it was semi flat. Way. Hey, Looks good to me. That's it. I think that's all we're gonna do, guys. I really like the way that looks. I think that does the trick. I like it, I like it. Alright, let me clean it up. All right, after brushing that up, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a couple of lines in here. There's a couple of lines there. There's a line that's going in here. And the question I have is, do I leave that in for texture or do I get rid of it? Uh, I'm half tempted to grind that out, but uh, this time I'm just going to leave it in. I think it, uh, I like it. It kind of looks used and abused. So I'm going to go ahead and, and mark where I want everything to go. Uh, get my holes drilled for the handle, and then I'm going to put four mounting uh, holes in the side and uh, we'll put we'll put, put the handle through our weld on the back side cut them off and then grind that off flat I think that'll hold just fine and uh, we'll be on our way all right guys I don't know what happened to my camera but you missed a little bit but let me explain here's where we are right now and it's not too snabby if you ask me I'm kind of liking it so what I ended up doing was um, it's still a little warm uh, four holes in the corners for mounting drilled two holes to stick the handle through, welded the back side, grounded it off flat. It looks really good. Definitely, definitely an industrial handle for sure. Uh, what I'm going to do now is get it cleaned up uh, and I think some black enamel will look really good on that. So if you notice my handle isn't perfectly straight. I mean, it's, it's straight, but there's a little bit of a curve in the handle or a little bit of a twist in it, which normally I wouldn't like. But in this case, even though everything is perfectly straight here, it actually, it, I don't know, I like it. I kind of like that little bit of twist in the, uh, in the handle there. So I'm really glad that I don't. I'm really glad that I like it and not, not like it. So it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and get some black enamel out, some primer and some black enamel. I'll come back when it's all painted up and let you see what it looks like. I'm quite pleased with it. I think that's worth something. How much is it worth? You tell me. The industrial door handle. Well, wait till it's painted. Think about it. And then when I'm done painting it, you tell me how much it's worth. That or it's a hell of a concrete trowel. All right, guys. This project is done as it's going to be today. I got I'm, I got a painter, and I'm waiting for the, the paint to dry. Um, let me show you. I'm kind of pleased with it. There it is. Huh? That is a nice looking thing. You look at the detail on the the hammered edge. 
it's just enough of a uh, an edge there to uh, to make things look interesting. I took some galvanized uh, two-inch lags, squared off the heads to go with these things, give it kind of an authentic old look. Don't worry, I did it cold. Didn't forge the galvanized. And there you have it. So I'm quite pleased forge with it. Forge welded the cable. I mean, that's awesome. For a little forge welding, a little Project bit of pretty cool. Like I said, as I'm moving into perhaps doing this full time, I got to find out where the money's at. And I think this this uh, heavy duty or this industrial type um, stuff for you know commercial use or for for uh, home use, I think there's some money to be made in that. So and we'll keep going in that direction. Um, the more I can figure out to make. And the stuff that sells, the better off I'm going to be, no doubt about it. So, uh, until next time, thank you for uh, your support, and we'll catch you on the flip side.